Plumbing a Pit Boss Plus battery backup with primary pump and separate discharge lines. Today we're going to be installing a Pit Boss stainless steel primary and Pit Boss Plus Wi-Fi connected battery backup pump on two separate discharge lines. Disconnect the discharge line and remove the old pump, old plumbing, and any switches from the basin. Be sure to also remove any debris that may have fallen in the basin. Carefully remove both the primary pump and battery backup pump from the box. Pit Boss Plus systems are available as a battery backup only for use with an existing primary sump pump and as a primary plus backup combo kit. The combo comes pre-plumbed, complete with check valves for each pump, a combination Y-piece, and switches for the primary and backup pumps already installed. Untie and extend all cables away from the pumps. Position the pumps in the basin, making sure the pumps are level and that the switch on the primary is positioned vertically and away from the basin wall. Measure the amount of pipe you'll need to reconnect the discharge lines. Don't forget to take into consideration the check valves and pipe fittings. For this installation, we used the check valve included with the stainless steel primary pump, plus two additional double boot check valves. You'll also want to decide where to attach the backup pump switch and high water alarm. For this installation, we're attaching them to the backup discharge line about two inches above the primary switch in its on position. Cut and dry fit the discharge assembly, making sure the check valves are tight around the discharge line. Once you've completed the assembly, go ahead and cement the pieces together, place the pumps back in the basin, and reconnect the discharge lines. The pumps are now installed, and it's time to connect them to the Pit Boss Plus controller and battery. Please note, the Pit Boss Plus systems include a battery backup unit specifically for the homeowner's modem and Wi-Fi router. This belongs upstairs or wherever the modem and router are set up. Do not plug the pump, Pit Boss Plus controller, or any device other than the modem and Wi-Fi router into this battery backup unit. The connections on the back of the controller are color-coded for easy setup. White for the backup pump power, green for the backup pump switch, and red for the high water alarm. Next, make sure you plug the primary pump with piggyback switch connection into the back of the Pit Boss Plus controller, not into the wall. This is most important. The only thing that should be plugged into the wall is the power cord from the Pit Boss Plus controller. Next, connect the controller to the battery, red to red, black to black. Finally, plug the Pit Boss Plus controller into the wall. Again, the controller is the only thing that should be plugged into the wall. Once everything is connected, it's time to test the pumps and check for leaks. First, fill the basin with water to activate the switch on the primary pump. If there are any leaks, make the repairs and test again. Once the primary pump has been tested, you'll need to test the backup pump. Do this by manually lifting the backup switch. Finally, manually activate the switch on the primary pump once again. This will reset the lights on the Pit Boss Plus controller to green and prepare it for connecting to the homeowner's Wi-Fi network. You can also connect a Pit Boss Plus battery backup to an existing primary pump using our specialized Y connector and dual pump install kit. Simply remove the existing discharge line, connect a check valve to both the primary and backup pumps, and connect each pump to the Y piece. The Y piece includes a reducer fitting to take it from a 2 inch to a 1 half inch diameter. Use what's appropriate for your discharge line. Making sure the pumps are level on the bottom of the basin, mark, cut, and reconnect the discharge line.
attach the backup pump and high water switches as before, roughly two inches above the primary switch in its on position. Last, connect the pumps to the PitBoss Plus controller as mentioned before, again making sure that the controller is the only thing plugged into the wall. Now that the pumps are installed, connected and tested, it's time to activate the PitBoss Plus remote monitoring service. Simply download the PitBoss Plus app from either the Apple App Store or Google Play Store and follow the on-screen prompts once opening the app. If you're having trouble connecting, you can call technical support at 1-833-786-7779.